hello, and thank you for taking the time to meditate. This is a guided meditation. Close your eyes, focus on your breathing. Feel your breath. Feel the air hit your nostrils. Slide down to fill you lungs. Feel it come out and then go in again. Acknowledge your body. Where are you feeling? Do you have any physical tension? Where do you feel it? And acknowledge it. Here's where things are going to get a little different, a little unconventional. Do as I say. Do not question. Do not think about anything at all. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Now focus on the point right between your eyes. No, it's not an empty space. It just feels like that because it's in the middle of your forehead. It's a real point. You will find it with your attention. Slowly move deeper and deeper into this center of awareness, this third eye. You have found it. This is exactly what I want you to feel as you enter into this guided meditation. What do you see? How does the room look? Describe in detail everything that is there. Now, as you walk forward into the room, toward the back wall, or wherever this place ends up being, at first glance, there's no one there. Nothing but an old wooden bookshelf with a few boxes on top of it and a flickering candle on top of that. But look closer, and something catches your eye on that bookshelf. A small brown leather journal and an old razor blade. What are they doing here? They should be somewhere else, I think to myself. What happens now? Examine the razor. You notice how it is slightly bent. The blade is very dull. You line the blade up with your thumb and then gently start to shave away at the wood on the top shelf. What do you see as you do this? The blade begins to pick up speed and begins to glow for a second or two. And what happens once you are two thirds done? Take another look at your surroundings. What do you see now? Walk toward that door that was in front of you before. There's no door there now. So just continue through this room that leads into darkness. As you enter this darkness, a voice speaks behind you. Don't turn around. It says, do not turn around. And what does it say next? It warns, look at me and pay attention. Pay attention to me. Now using your third eye, not your other senses, all of a sudden everything starts to make more sense. First things first, look down at your hand, form the old leather journal and look closely at the pages. They are blank. Looking closely, you can see that there is some writing in need of repair at the top right corner. Make this note to yourself. Now look up again and walk toward the edge of this room. What happens now? You begin to drop through the floor. You can feel yourself dropping. You fall through the floor of a diner in a small town and into a table where two strangers are sitting, a man and woman. They're both wearing suits, one with an old school puffy white shirt tucked into it and one with a nice button down shirt on. How is your experience so far? Talk to them. Say hello and introduce yourself. What's your name? Say it out loud. Say it again. Better yet, say it like you mean it. Good job. Now listen to me carefully. Pay attention to what I am saying. It's going to be important later. The man looks at you with a stern face. Why do we have talking trees? He says sternly. We don't even have shoes for such things. Just make me a sandwich and get out of here, says the man with a heavy accent and a gruff voice. The woman looks at you with pity. Oh, my little darling, you are so lost, aren't you? You wouldn't know your right from your left if it smacked you right in the face. I will help you. Here, take this, she says, as she hands you the old leather journal. It's empty, but there is something written in it. Bring this to the old man here in town. She says as she smiles at you. We just need some shoes, the man replies. What now? Walk over to where the man is standing and hand him his food and then give him the journal. 
he takes both of them. Go stand on that side table on your right side, facing those two strangers. Look back at them and listen to what they say about those talking trees. Now this is the climax, the finale, the payoff. This is where the whole thing actually has a meaning. And it begins now with you looking at your own hand. You see the old brown leather journal in front of you. You see a small scrap of paper that was once in the journal. Look, on it there seems to be some writing. Now, as I said, not to turn around. I didn't want you to see this and make assumptions. But please look down at that scrap of paper on the table and read it out loud. I am looking for my mother. You might recognize this phrase from something your mom or dad said to you one time when they gave you a present. We bought something special for your birthday. Look inside. The next day they would say, Oh, remember we got you that stuffed animal? Well, look inside it, and there's another present. It was a really nice present, but after hearing that line so many times, your mind started to blur out what was really going on. What happens now? There is more written here. Look it up. The conclusion, you are still on that table. There is no ground underneath you right now, and you can feel the warm air move past you as your stomach rumbles from hunger. I think I know what you're looking for, says the man in a gruff voice as he sits down next to you. Come inside with me if you want to find her, he says as he pats his stomach lovingly. I will buy us all some lunch, he adds, and then goes into the bathroom to get you some shoes. What happens now? He tells the woman that it is time for dinner. She looks at him with a surprised expression on her face. It's been an hour already. But before they leave, she tells him about her mother getting a cold and vomiting all over her clothes. The conversation turns around to where the two of them come from. And then you remember you are in a room listening to a meditation video. Or were you? Have you been listening to my voice? Were you even listening to me in the first place? Just look down at your hand, and we'll continue. Let's slip back into the void.